Hello, I'm Timothy with them. Today I'm reviewing the fun size of horror volume one. Now the fun size of horror volume one comes with different types of short horror stories in it. Um the first film I'm gonna review, which is the first short film on the fun size of horror volume one. This first film is called when they say you're alone which is about a woman who ends up having nightmares of women surrounding her throwing flowers around her bed while she sleeps and eventually she soon realizes that something sinister may at, be at work while she sleeps and um, without me giving too much away i'll give this short dark and creepy Horror Story, a 7 out of 10 creepiness rating. Um, now, this second short horror film on this fun size of horror volume 1, this next story on this film set is called Knock Knock, which is about a young boy with asthma whom hears a strange knocking noise coming from his closet door. Without me giving too much more weight, I'll I'll give this film a 10 out of 10 creepiness rating. This film was very very creepy. Now here the next film I'm gonna review, which is called Six Years Old, which is on the fun side of horror volume one. This short story doesn't really have a name. Um, it's about a six year old girl. I'm assuming the story is called Six Years Old. Um, it's about a little girl who has this dog who loves to eat puppies. Basically, it bites the heads off puppies. Um, this one, I'll give a 5 out of 10 for creepiness. This one was not creepy. It was more sick and twisted than anything. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for creativity, however. Now this next short, short 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 horror film on this set is called Entity. Now this story is about a mother and a daughter who move into this house where they they end up finding a box in, in their attic. And inside this box is a creepy doll which may have an evil entity living inside it which the evil spirit could be transferred into humans um this one i'll give a 10 out of 10 creepiness rating this one was very creepy now on to this next one um this next short horror film is called bud eggs um which is about oddly enough talking hands whom eat bad eggs which causes one of them to puke up a green hand that eats the other this film, I'll give a 1 out of 10 for creepiness. However, I gotta give this film a 10 out of 10 for hilariously bad humor. I mean, this one made me laugh hysterically with some of the stuff they did in it. It was terrible. But it made me laugh. So I can't absolutely say I hate it. But I don't love it neither. Now, this next short horror film um, on the fun size of horror... This one is called The Screaming, which is about a woman who begins to hear screams outside her house. And then when she tries calling the police, the screams come from her phone, which, without me giving too much away, leads to her screaming. Um, this one, I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 for creepiness. Um, definitely a creepy one. Um... This next one, um, this next short horror film is called Persephone, which is about a woman who wakes up in a wooden box, who, and she ends up using her keys to try to break out of the casket while using a flashlight to help her see, but she soon realizes that a family of psychopaths 
are um, waiting for her to get out and they like playing Twisted Mind games. Um, this one for me gets a 7 out of 10 for creepiness. However, for entertainment value, I gotta give that a 10 out of 10. Definitely an entertaining short story. <clears throat> one of my favorites on this. Now on to the next one. Um, this next one is called Voice. Which is about a man who begins to hear strange voices saying his name. And then his friends begin to hear the weird voices. And then, you know, the voices saying their name. And they soon realize that something may be out to get them. This one, I'll give a 10 out of 10 creepiness rating. This one was the creepiest one on, on here, I'll say. Um, now, this next story um, didn't come with a name for it. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> this one's about, this next story is about five friends trapped in a sadistic game where they have to kill each other or else they all die. I'll give this one a 5 out of 10 for creepiness, but a, um, 10 out of 10 for creativity. This film was very creative. Now this next film is called Trust, which is about two idiot friends who put each other through a series of dangerous tests to see who trusts who and without me giving too much away I'll just say I'll I have to say this may end up being badly for one of the idiots um this one I'll give a 1 out of 10 for creepiness rating but for creativity I gotta give it a 10 out of 10 stars now this next short horror film is called The Lover which is about a woman whose lover is leaving her, which leads to her, her having a mental breakdown and could end in bloodshed and chaos. This one I'll give a 7 out of 10 creepiness rating. Now on to this next horror film, short horror film, which is called The Creepy Fucking Kid in Apartment B. Which starts off with a woman who wakes up late and when she walks out her door, she runs into a creepy kid whom she meets for the first time finding him on her porch and soon the creepy kid begins to stalk her everywhere she goes and ends up getting into her house without me giving too much away I'll give this film a 9, nine out of 10 for creepiness this next film is called A Dog and His Boy which is about an owner and a psychotic jealous dog whom um has an appetite for women whom try to date his owner. This one I'll give 8 out of out of 10 creepiness. Now on to the next film called Quad. Um, which is about, about horror movie watchers whom become stalked by a real life serial killer. After watching a serial killer movie. This one for me gets 8 out of 10 stars for creepiness. Now on to the next one. This one is called Bar because it's about a man who goes to an old opera house called Bar. He runs into the spirit of a loved one. Either a dead girlfriend or his dead wife. I don't know whether he was her girlfriend, she was his girlfriend or what it was. But all I know is it's a ghost that he used to once love. Um, without me giving too much more away, this film, for me, gets a 0 out of 10 stars for creepiness. However, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 stars for creativity. This film was very creative. I really enjoyed the storyline. Now, on to the next one, which is called Mother, which is about a pregnant woman who somehow gets pregnant with spiders. This one definitely creeped me out. I'll give this one a 10 out of 10 creepiness rating. It was just sick and twisted, this one. Um, now on to the next one. Um, this next film has no name. I don't know why they made a couple films with no names. But this one is about some, psycho, some psychotic guy who's in a mental institute being questioned for murder. I'll give this one a 4 out of 10 star rating. This one was not creepiness at all. Um, it was just weird. Now this next film I'm going to review on this 
series is called Paramnesia, which is about a woman who may have been drugged by a, a Nazi. This film was really weird and wasn't scary at all. Um, I'll give this one a 3 out of 10 creepiness. I, I kind of got confused with this one. <laughs> now, this next one is called Bitter, which is about two idiot witches who end up casting weird spells on each other, which has some funny results as they try to torment each other using some spell they call Bitter. And then they are soon joined by two idiot warlocks who enjoyed the bitter spellbinding fun. This film for me was more of a comedy horror than anything. I'll give it a 0 out of 10 for creepiness. However, I got to give it a 10 out of 10 for a comedy. It was hilarious. Now this next one um, is called Mr. Hendrix, which is about... A couple whose daughter claims that there are monsters in her closet. Named, there's a monster in her closet named Mr. Hendrix. And when her father hears the monster's name, dark memories return from his past as a young kid. This one for me gets a 10 out of 10 creepiness rating. Um, 